Hey guys, Jeff here from Diverse Dimensions. Uh, just wanted to show you guys another little tip or a trick that I uh, that I used yesterday um, during a measurement session with a local client here. The job that we were doing yesterday with the laser tracker had me in the middle of this machine. I was buried in there with the SMR doing the measurement. And what we needed to do was level out this machine to a gravity plane. Pretty simplistic measurement and the tracker worked awesome with this job. But what I noticed is that with my bad eyes, I cannot see that digital readout uh, from very far away. So what I wanted to do is take you guys into Polyworks, jump into here. I've got 2020 open. You can kind of see my measurement session here. I've got a few things going on, some THK rails here. Um, so let me hide all those features. There's all those probe points. But what I wanted to show you guys is when I'm buried in the middle of this machine and I needed to see my digital readout, what I had to do was change the size of the font and change the transparency. So that's what I want to show you today. Now notice my digital readout is not live right now. I am away from my from my tracker or my measurement device. So I've got on the uh, the simulated probe right now. So just that to pull up my um, my digital readout here in the corner. But the way I uh, I needed to see this, um, or it was tough to see this from 30 feet out. So what I ended up doing is I run over here to my options. So notice under display, I've got plus key. I've got probing and scanning as an option here. I'll hit the plus key on that again. And then I've got the digital readout right here. So let's open that up. There's a lot of options underneath digital readout here, but the simple one that I wanted to change is just under the header of digital readout. And then I've got, in fact, I'll move this over so you can see this a little bit at the same time. The font size for numbers is what I changed to make that a little bit more visible. So I'll blow him up to be 90. Let's go like that. Okay, so I just hit the enter key and look at how big he got there. But the other thing I like to do is I like to change the transparency on this one too. Instead of it being a transparent so I can see the 3D scene behind it, I make him totally zero. And then I hit apply. And then okay, so the digital readout would populate with numbers or if I'm measuring a line, you'll see a form deviation here. That's kind of the default that's gonna show up there. So for me to be able to see these numbers at about 30 feet away, that was a perfect trick for me to understand what was going on with my data capture. We've got plenty more videos on this, uh, this YouTube channel, so uh, please subscribe to this. Um, give me a suggestion too. If you have anything that you would like to see as a training video, Man, we'd love to hear it. So just go ahead and reach out and um, give us those suggestions.